toolsinaction.com. Sorry, I know Dan told me not to move around a lot, so I'll try to stay in my place. But I got Dan behind the camera. Today we're going over the Milwaukee Grinder. It's a four and a half inch grinder. The model number on this is 2680-20. It is a bare tool model, but luckily we got our M18 Red Lithium Ion uh, XC battery, so we're good to go. Um, when you first look at it, it's very cool. I do the first thing I did notice, which I like a lot about this, I've noticed on some of the other grinders, is they have the side handle where you can put it on the left or the right. I don't see a lot of them on the top. The Porter cable we did, that did have it on the top, but this one does have the side handle, or I guess it would be called the top handle too, um, for the top of it. So I do like that. So it gives you access to use it any way you want to. Um, let me grab this. Comes with two different guards. As you can see, you don't need a tool to actually adjust the guard. So, however you want to move it, just push the lever in. I love that. I think that's awesome. Um, it does have a nice molded grip on the top, not so much on the side, but it does have the large paddle. Just push in the safety switch, and now you have the paddle. So, it's got a nice feel in your hand. This has uh, 9,000 um, RPMs. It's really weird because we did a review of the Metabo, and the Metabo actually felt like it had a little bit more power to it, I guess, but this has got more RPMs. We figured the Metabo had, what, 8,000? This has got 9,000? We're going to put them up against each other and yeah. see, to be sure. So we're going to have to put them up against each other and check them out. So the spindle locks right here, very easy to access when you need to change it. As you can see, we have a Porter cable grinding wheel on there because Milwaukee didn't include any on, on there. Um, so grab that on there. Um, this does come with a five-year warranty. So what we're going to do right now is we will go ahead and just show it to you, go through a piece of rebar, half-inch rebar. Uh, this does have the same thing as a lot of the other tools are having now where they have the overload protection where if it starts getting too hot where it feels like it's going to um, hurt the drill or hurt the grinder it will automatically shut off so let's go ahead and then cut some rebar alright all we're going to do is show you cut through a half inch uh, piece of half inch rebar See? That's what the shutoff overload protection does. So it shuts you down. I was trying to push kind of hard on there so you can see how it works, but I don't know. Some people like that, some people don't. Some people just like to tear up their tools. Yeah, I'd rather through. have it keep going through, personally. Me too. But it is what it is. See if you can't really push down that much, how long it takes to kind of go through. Um, I don't know, I'd rather be able to, certain times, I'd rather be able to push down a little bit more to get through it quicker. Um, that's about it, man. Check out toolsinaction.com. Toolsinaction.com. When one tool just isn't enough. <laughs> nice.